Chatting to Alan Kreef about the yards runners on Friday and the yards start with two horses in race one, Empire Blue and Move On Over, who could enjoy trying the poly for the first time off the pace she showed on local debut on turf last time out. Yeah, I know it's Empire Blue, um, you know, he's there and thereabouts, although um, last time he was away off when he ran fourth, but the winner won really easily that day. Um, move On Over, I thought was encouraging first run and uh, looked like she wanted a bit more ground. On to race two, the coupling here of Aphrodite and Mesemra. Yeah, Aphrodite not drawn well, but uh, temperamental filly has the ability, but just uh, hasn't got the mindset yet, and hopefully we can improve. Mesemra definitely needs to improve. We move on to race three, lovely race. This bold resolve runs, and last time out a touch unlucky. Yeah, honest, consistent horse, and uh, you know he's always there and fighting out the finish. We move on to race four. Sugarberry steps out. Now, she ran on really well last time out. She has yet to show, though, on the poly surface. Yeah, Sugarberry uh, is nice filly and, uh, you know, always doing her best work late. And I think last time, you know, she came from a long way off them to run on strongly. And she should be in the shout out. In race five, we'll see Douglas Devastator. Now, he steps out for his post maiden run. He was a well deserved winner last time out. Yeah, Douglas Devastator, drawn well, drawn four. It is a post-maiden run, but uh, 1900 is his sort of going. And, uh, you know, we go see how he takes his post-maiden run and um, build on that. In race six, the two runners, a linger longer. He was a winner last time out, a comfortable one, or so the handicapper thought as well. He'll be joined by Secret Is Ours, who's back off a break. Yeah, um, a linger longer, I think the handicapper was a little bit harsh on him, but uh, so be it and uh, take our chances from there. He's a nice horse and, uh, you know, I think he can be there again. Secret is out, had a little bit of a layoff after his win. Uh, maybe a bit on the sharp side for him and, uh, you know, he'll be doing his best week late. In race seven, path of choice and travel master. Yeah, both these horses are just on the fringes of the placings and, uh, you know, maybe just another drop or two in points, they could be competitive. But uh, saying that, you know, they could just pop up in this sort of race. And in race eight, I'm sure likewise could be said for Caitlin's boy and Uncle Tiki Bird, both having their post-maiden runs, but both really winning unchallenged when leaving the maidens last time out and proving to love the poly. Yeah, you know, they're both uh, post-maiden runs and uh, like you said, both won their maiden plates impressively on the day and, uh, you know, drawn nicely. I think it's going to be a good race between the two of them. I would like to see them fighting out a finish. Big thanks to Alan for his comments.